Ever since I spotted one in one of those Korean camping videos that I adore, I've been eyeballing these flameless cookers. In the US, it seems like the Barrow Cook brand is the most readily available, but they're a little spendy for me. So I shopped around and I found a used Trekmates cooker on eBay that appears to have the same sort of structure. Since I was restricted to the interior of the Forerunner, my Cracker Barrel campout seemed like the perfect opportunity to try it out. Let's make a little dinner. And I wanted to try out my new flameless cooker, my new to me flameless cooker. I, I think they must have been sold only in like the UK and Canada because they were not sold on any US sites. There is a steel inner container where you put your food and then there's a an outer shell and then there's a, this neoprene liner and then a lid to snap it down. There we go. So this is where the pouch goes down in there. This is where the food goes and the lid goes on top. And then this is their little heat packs. There's a, a bottle. So this is high power heat back. So we're just gonna do the little amount of water. I don't know how many grams these are. The Barrow Cook ones are 50 grams. I, I'm not a drug dealer, so I can't really get figure out how much that is. Anyway, uh, we're gonna make pho. All right, so let's go ahead and measure our water. Nailed it. No, uh, 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 no, it is not what you think it is. Okay, let's see what happens. So far, nothing. That doesn't seem like enough water, but that's what it says. Oops. Oh, here we go. All right, we're starting to sizzle. So I'm gonna put our thing in here. So far, it's pretty weak. I wouldn't say that's very like high powered. It's like a, a fizzle, a shizzle. <laughs> Ice cold. Ice cold. Wow, weak. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause this and we'll check back later. All right, let's do a check. Still have simmering action. Still cold <laughs> as ice. <laughs> cold as ice. So disappoint. All right, I am, I'm calling it because <laughs> it has been like 20 minutes and it's like still cold. I mean, not even lukewarm. This is just not gonna fly. So I'm gonna have to, um, I think what I'm gonna try and do is fish this packet out and um, safely dispose of it and use the Barrow Cook one and see what happens. Yeah, like I can touch it with my finger and it's just like warmish. All right, I stuck it in the chicken, foil chicken packet and now um, try and get this, uh, the Barrow Cook one in there. Since my Trekmates kit only came with two heating packets, I went ahead and bought a 10 pack of the Barrow Cook brand packets. To be fair, since the Trekmates kit was used, those packets could be very old and have lost strength, which is a weakness of these types of cooking systems. All right. That's all the water in this container, so that's all it's getting. Okay, that's how, it, that's what's supposed to happen. All right, whoo. The thing is now it's all puffed up. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this in here. Maybe it'll squish back down. Yep. Sweet. Okay, this sounds more promising. Yep, 
definitely getting hot in there. Mmm. Oh, that's hot. I think we can go ahead and start eating that. Mm-hmm. Steaming up my glasses. <laughs> When it comes to gear, I love a multitasker. A flameless cooker is basically a lidded container for the food that nests inside a larger container that holds the packet and the water, which converts to steam, and then a cozy of some sort to retain the heat. I happen to have something that fits the bill perfectly, my three-part mess kit. It's 11.30, that means lunchtime for me. And so I want to try, uh, this is actually a perfect opportunity for me to try out a flameless cooker setup I've been curious about. So, a container with a bottom reservoir for the water and the um, pack, and then a container for your food, something to close it, and then, of course, this gets very hot because it's metal. A, protection device. Do not worry, I'll be safe. So I just have this neoprene lunchbox to keep the heat in and not on my hands. It feels burning. Supposedly uh, it'll put out about 10 or 15 minutes of heat, so that's not going to be enough to cook much of anything. Um, it's meant for heating up already cooked food. So I got this um, for free from Sprouts. They were having a thing, so this is some already cooked dal and some already cooked rice and the idea we're just gonna heat it up. And then this is the actual flameless cooking part and this is a, a pouch that has chemical compound in it that reacts to water. When it comes in contact with water it is a uh, exothermic reaction and it puts out enough heat to warm up your food. This thing says cook without fire and I need to get some water. Oh look what I found, tequila. I'm gonna put that up here. We have water. <laughs> I have a bicycle shaped cookie cutter in there. I think I put that in there when I was gonna try and use this as a steamer, so to elevate it. So we, we don't need the cookie cutter right now, but we'll put that there. All right, so let's dump this thing in here. So you can microwave it in 60 seconds, so I think we can cook it in here. Oh, I meant to put foil in the pan. Ah, oh, shoot. I guess we're doing dishes after all. And our rice. Seems like a large portion of rice. I think I'm just gonna do like half. Man. All right, got a knife. Man, I found a different bottle opener in my glove box. I don't know, this one's pretty cool. Oh, it's multi, multi-purpose in case I need to open a can of pineapple juice. Hey, this is not for you, sir. Apparently this, uh, this bag is also your measuring cup. This is what's inside. Put that in there. I think it goes all the way to the top. Okay. Ready for action. so you can see what's happening. Hopefully. Water. Nothing appears to be happening. 
Did I do something wrong? Oh, I hear something. There's like a sizzling sound. There it goes. <gasps> Woo! Woo! Okay, I need to put the lid on. Okay. All right, we'll give it uh, 10 minutes, see how it goes. But yeah, there was something happening finally. Been 10 minutes and it's still, I don't know if you see that, it's there, still just steaming away. So uh, maybe I'll let it go. I'm gonna zip it open though, because I'm curious. Definitely gotta be careful. It's... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did not anticipate, of course, the little metal fob zipper is blazing hot. <laughs> hey, don't get a steam burn. <laughs> like using an Instant Pot. Whoa. I might need a cloth for this. I didn't think of that. But thankfully, my new micro kitchen, I can open the sides, which I did on this side. Well, I had it open. Let's see. And I have a cloth over here. The mess kit um, latch has latched. Whoa, okay. Still steaming. There's a little bubble action around the perimeter. I think it's definitely warm. Yeah, there's some steam coming off of that. It's still sizzling in there. It's hot. It is definitely hot. Just for curiosity's sake, let's peep out what's happening below deck. Wow, still a lot of steam. Whoa, wow. It'll keep going. As the price per serving is a bit high, flameless cookers won't be my main method of cooking. But when you can't cook outside, or if you're worried about using fuel or fire inside your vehicle, or if you're low on electricity, flameless cookers are a great option to have on hand once you get just the right combination of gear dialed in.